Okay, so passive cooling. Tricord at 1.47 volt and 3.4 gigahertz. It's not about overclocking, so I didn't touch the overclock too much. But crank out the voltage a little bit. Right now idle is at 34 degrees Celsius. As you can see, there's no fan attached to my heat sink. Passive cooling. Uh, that fan over there is just for exhaust. Air goes that way, it's not blowing air to the heat sink. It's not trying to cool the heat sink. It's acting like a case fan. So I think that's fair. Just for a little proof. That's the setup. The air is exhausting. Okay, so we got two autos running. One, this one is assigned to uh, the first two core, and this one's assigned to the third core. Alright, let's get it started. Now, idle is 34. Let's see how we do. All three quarts running at 100%. All those are running. 41 degrees climbing. Oh yeah, and by the way, I don't have a tripod. This is my solution of camera stand, so I don't have to hold it. <laughs> anyway. degrees Celsius on passive cooling from the stop autos. In my opinion that's not bad at all. I mean had the voltage crank up to almost 1.5 volt, 1.75 and the cooler in passive the, uh, the temperature is only up to 52 degrees Celsius that's not bad at all, so imagine if we're using uh, the depot voltage on the depot clock speed passive cooling and you get a really nice, fast and quiet PC See, that's really, really good.
Okay, so everything is set out exactly the way it was before. 1.47 above, 3.4 gigahertz, 3 quarts, 2 volts running. Now with fan power. One fan to push, the other fan to exhaust. Alright. Let's see how we do on this one. So the idle temp is 30 degrees, 29 degrees there's Celsius. And let's get it started. Celsius. On the uh, fan that come with that come with the heating and the exhaust fan, 41 degrees Celsius at 4.147 volt. Dun 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 if you got one of those crazy ass fans like I do, you will want to put it on just to see how far can you cool your processor and how far can you overclock. Alright, got my ultimate air cooling setup already and we will benchmark this bad boy. Okay, the idle temp is 26 degrees Celsius. degrees Celsius max temperature on the deep fan it's really deep so in conclusion Sai Ninja 2 CPU cooler put out a real awesome performance even at its passive cooling without any fans except for a, a case fan setup and still put out real good performance on a high voltage and I feel this cooler is a little bit uh, underrated um, I don't hear as much of this cooler as other ones but they definitely put out a great performance it's absolutely kick ass product so I uh, hope you enjoy my little review and of course there are more to come